My name's Russ, and welcome to the Garage Log. Let's build some freaking trikes. What is going on guys? Today we have a lot of stuff going on. We're gonna be explaining our brand new build that we're gonna be doing with Mini Bike Syndicate, if you guys have ever heard of him. We're gonna be building him a roller frame that's gonna be based off of a 212 Tilly. We actually have a spare 212 Ghost from Harbor Freight, the Predator Ghost, that we're gonna be able to mock everything up with, frame it up. We got a couple more things in the game plan for today. We have a new sprocket that we're gonna be putting on the black trike. That's gonna give us a little bit more torque. It's gonna make it easier to wheelie. Right now it's set for speed. We're also gonna explain to you guys and get some feelers on what we wanna do with selling the mini bikes and selling the frames. We've had so many people ask us. Uh, we've been trying to get back to everybody. We've just been uh, swamped. A crazy amount of people hitting us up that we weren't expecting and just like exponential growth that just wasn't expected. So with that being said, let's jump into the video. Let's talk about the uh, people purchasing yeah. our, our uh, items. Like, I don't want to think that everybody, you know, we're just ignoring everybody. It's just, there's been so many people literally that have been asking. There's a couple things that we're up against on making our own frames. One, the price of steel, it's almost double what we were paying like back in, you know, a couple years ago. And then the second factor is just the amount of time that this takes to literally, we clean every piece of tube, we cut it, we knock it we tig weld it this is like buying a rolex this isn't going yeah. into walmart in a caseo yeah it's... or like harbor freight or like tractor supply and picking up a mini bike how about we go over to uh the uh, sprocket on yeah. so this one's got the wheelie sprocket the torque sprocket so that's a, that's a big guy a good way to see how much different this is like this the clearance this sprocket the... yeah will hit that motor plate because of the diameter of it. And you can also see the yeah, like right clearance there. there versus the sprocket that's on the black one. I mean, this is just simple gearing. Like look how oh, much yeah. different it is. Yeah. So that's a 48 tooth where this is a 60 tooth. That's why this one runs like it does. So that's what we're gonna be doing today is switching over that sprocket. We're gonna see how well it rides. Like Ben said, we're gonna be basing all of the, the next level trikes off of the black one. We were talking earlier saying that there's probably gonna be a lot more interest in people doing gas builds, wouldn't you say, Ben? Yeah. Rather than like, I think well, people would buy the electric, but they, if they're gonna buy a frame, yeah. they're probably gonna want it mocked up to be able to just slap a, a yeah. harbor freight engine on it yeah so like this frame here with like the gas would be good for you know your average guy in a garage that wants to build a cool mini bike that can go up the harbor freight get a six and a half uh, the electric is definitely a little more involved where it comes with the batteries the wiring there's a lot of work wiring yeah. all that stuff we got the parts in most of them for the syndicate we got we got everything to build the frame yeah we just need what'd you say the tires the wheels are right here we got the sprog we got all of this stuff yeah but we just need to uh bust that frame out and then order the tires. So how, how long do you think the tires will take to come in? A couple days? Yeah. That'll be that'll be easy just to pop those on. Yeah. Right? So the question that none of you guys asked, <laughs> uh, how Was, much air can you get on yeah. one of these? A decent bit. I'll drop in a, a video clip. Uh, we were out at the uh, the new promised land. We're jumping some stuff in the barn. So I'll, dr I'll drop that real quick. But I, I mean, if you saw that TikTok, I got some air. Oh, I, yeah. Did you see how pumped I was afterwards? Dude, oh, I yeah. felt like I was flying. So, I should have had a cape on. Yeah. Like a freaking Evil Knievel cape. These lifts are amazing. I don't even remember where we got this. I got them online somewhere. It's just like a really heavy duty cart. It's like way better than those ones you can get at Harbor Freight. How high you want it? It's probably good. How you feeling about this podcast tonight? Pretty pumped up. It's gonna be sweet. Ben's all freaked out, doesn't know if he can perform. Like I said, whenever it comes to talking about trucks, it's like I could sit and talk to anybody about trucks for yeah. hours. What about mini bikes? Mini trucks? Mini bikes. I guess stuff I like. Yeah, I loved whenever uh, I was like, Steve, is this thing a ripper? He, he goes, oh, she's a ripper. Oh, it's Steve's a good guy for the channel. That freaking, uh, that mini bike he has is insane. That is. Guys, drop a comment and let, let us know what you think about Steve. Steve's gonna be in a lot more of our videos. He's a real character and we're, we're happy to have him around. He's, he's pumped to be on the channel. We're doing that thing with his mini bike on Monday. Yeah. Oh, I can't say too much about that though. But that's the only thing. We're almost not gonna be able to line it back up against the ghost because I gotta pull the ghost off for mock-up today. Dude, we have another one in the box. That's our... Whoa! Oh, whoa, whoa. I mean, that's our boop. Yeah. <laughs> Well, all the wiring, yeah. I don't like to show up under the. Covers. Well, that's why I honestly think like people There's would be more so in much people like... would be more interested in building a gasser yeah. than like trying to figure all of this out. Like 
I would buy that because yeah. you figured it all out, but like, yeah. I'm not sitting at home wiring all that stuff up. And like, I can't be sitting around answering all the questions that everybody has. Yeah. That, you know, like, I'm not an electrician. Like, yeah. I could probably figure out how to put a motor on and hook up a freaking chain and a sprocket. Yeah. But like, trying to figure all that out, like trying to be jack of all trades, yeah. that's got to be hard. Damn, where do you go? Jeez. Where'd you get that from? BMI carts. BMI parts. Carts. Carts. Body mass index carts. Huh? Body mass index. BMI. Yeah. Yeah, they sell uh, they sell cart parts. They sell, I think, guitars, supplements, and workout equipment. Oh, nice. So as you guys can see here, the difference in size. So bigger the sprocket, more torque. Smaller the sprocket, less torque, but more top speed. Science. Yeah. So. You can see this here is stamped steel, and this is just aluminum. So I thought it was kind of crazy. They didn't even bevel these edges. See how this stamped steel one has the bevels? Oh yeah. Was that one more expensive? That one was more expensive. Really? Yeah. Cause like they're just stamping these out. Yeah. Torque those things down. Isn't that the best feature of that thing? What's that? Where you can like go, but then like still torque it down. Yeah. I was hoping for a little bit more of a response. Yeah. Well, I don't think that's the best feature. Well, I think the I best you feature were always is... Like, you always said like how great that was. Like, oh, you can really just wrench down on it. So those are threaded. They probably don't even need nuts on the back, but I put these on to lock them in. For double, some extra safe. Double nut. Or sub. Another one. Just freaking blowing up. Oh, I can't show that. So we have our first batch of t-shirts coming in the end of next week. Uh, things are a little bit backed up with the holiday weekend this weekend with people having like Friday and Monday off. But anyways, we have some proofs of some designs that are gonna be on these t-shirts. This is gonna be the first one here. Uh, what did they call this, Ben? The Rat? Rat Fink. Rat Fink style. Uh, we had our boy Buddy uh, make us a couple different designs. This is the first one. Let's see if you guys can see that. Uh, so that is, is staged after a picture. I think I already talked about this in the other video. Um, staged after a picture on Instagram that we took. And then he actually just made us one with the radio flyer. Uh, so that's pretty cool. The t-shirts the that we're getting in right now are just kind of tests. So we have a couple of them, not too many, but they're gonna be going up on our website that we're gonna be getting up soon. You know, I, I hate talking about things that we're gonna do, yeah. but like, I think people will care enough. People like it, as long as we actually do it. That's yeah. the big thing. So if you guys like this style, uh, just let us know. We're gonna be making some stickers too. Probably send a couple of those out with the uh, t-shirt orders. So stick around, drop a comment if you're interested and let us know. All right, so for everybody that liked the Radio Flyer go-kart, the ghost go-kart, we've come to the very uh, difficult decision uh, to retire it because it's uh, it's pretty pretty dangerous. And uh, Ben, why don't you tell us about why, why it's so dangerous? Oh, it's unsafe for many reasons. Uh, one of them being, you sit right up behind the engine. There's no seat. There's no seat. The brakes absolutely suck. They're mechanical, just cable operated. Horrible. They won't even stop you when you're not giving it throttle. <laughs> that, uh, well, that engine's ridiculously fast. It yeah, just grips and rips. It's got a ton of power. It's got a throttle that's kind of like sticky. <laughs> <laughs> that's the it's, last thing you need is that thing sticking yeah. on you. So it literally has two brake levers as a throttle and a brake and it just the cable will slide out and like stick yeah. a little bit well and that chain's right up against your back so yeah. you have your back to block if the it. chain would break which i've seen those chains break or the master link come out we don't need to be ripping open anybody's kidneys yeah not well, a sad sad story because well, there's gonna be say, a there's gonna be a 2.0 version 2.0 of the radio flyer coming it's gonna have some upgraded safety features <laughs> and uh, a seat, a seat maybe. A seat. I actually just saw uh, one of our buddies, which I'm gonna start calling my buddy now. Oh, yeah. um, one of our uh, one of our fellow go kart people, uh, go kart god enthusiast. Uh, our fellow go kart enthusiast, go kart god has one that's really cool. He's actually got the the motor mounted like right between your legs. I don't know how safe that actually is, but they're all dangerous. Yeah, like you can't you can't build a radio flyer like go yeah. Kart. As long as we have good brakes and at least something to like. Oh, no kill switch. There's no oh, kill switch. Yeah, you gotta yeah. try to reach behind you, and make sure you reach on the right side so you don't get your hand stuck in the chain. Yeah. So anyways, he built a really sweet one. He was actually the guy that turned us on to the ghost. We saw his video. We we're able to go out and get one which I don't think we've talked about this. We are almost 100% positive that 
We weren't supposed to get that motor when we did. And Ben somehow swindled this late, this poor girl, this teenager in freaking uh, Harbor Freight says, hey, I got this part number. Didn't you say like you got the part number from some like, I found form it, or I like- I found it in some unknown source online. And I was like, oh, do you guys have blah, blah, blah part number? And they're like, we got two in stock. Well, they, it, wasn't, it wasn't even like on the floor. It wasn't, it so wasn't I even get, on the website. Yeah, so I go there. And then I grab a shopping cart and I'm like, I'm going to pick up this uh, well, set here, engine. Well, here, take a step back. You you called around. I did call around. Well, I went to one, our local one first. They had no clue what I was talking about. So I called another location. They didn't know anything about it, but they did turn me on to a couple places that did have them in stock. So I called those places, made the girl go actually check that they were physically in stock. And then whenever I grabbed a cart, I was like, ah, oh, back by the Predators. No. They're in the back. They only had two. They and only you had bought two. them both. Well, I did. I did. <laughs> so, so, so we we have two of these unreleased. Well, actually, I, every time we say that, I just remember back to that Turbo Man where he's like, "You got two. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Or the mailman like got yeah, two of those ping yeah. pong balls or whatever for. Yeah, we got two of them. Ben said earlier that we were doing a uh, something with it. I think they're out now because they're on the website and it says they're in stock some places. So I think they're out. But we. We definitely got it a few days before we were supposed to. And I think that that's helped us, like our, our last couple of videos have been doing really well compared to like the amount of views that we get on our other videos because that's such a hot topic right now. And that's why we did back-to-back -back videos on that, that motor specifically without like really touching on the trikes or builds or anything like that because it's just, it's such an opportune time right now to get blast content out about that that people are gonna be searching for. It's just all about being with the times with something that's like brand new. So. Trending. Trending. Gonna be on top of the trends, so. Well, like I was talking uh, the radio, other day. That radio flyer, it was actually built in 2018 by myself. And Was it 2018? Yep, I looked it up. That's when it was posted on my Instagram for the first time. Oh. 2018. Which you guys could go back and look. Yeah. Is that the she, same channel? Yeah. The same page? Yep. So that's how I figured it out. Yeah. And uh, it was retired. It was almost a barn find. It was this literally point. up on top of the shelf. Ben had the tires off of it, using it for something. Weren't you like mocking up one of these trikes with those tires? Oh, uh, we built a cooler racer. Oh. Yeah. After Ben tells me about this, literally, we saw this on Go Kart God's page at like, what, 10 o'clock at night? Yeah. Ben's like, we need to go get one of these motors. He has one within like 12 hours the next day. And I'm like, we're like, we should put it on that freaking cart. And Ben's like, uh, I don't know, it's gonna be a lot of work. And then he just busts out an eight hour day and makes it freaking happen. Yeah. I didn't even tell Russ. I was like, and Get Steve. over here. Yeah, Steve Steve freaking was putting in work. Yeah. I told you people were gonna be asking about that gas tank. People were already hitting me up. Oh really? Fit on there, so. How did you get it to, or is that Steve, not made to like? Well, it has that oil fill on the top. Yeah. So it messes everything up where the gas tank won't well, did, fit. Well, weren't, because, the weren't there brackets on the ghost to put a gas tank there? Uh, fuel pump. So uh, it's made for a remote mount fuel tank with a pump mm. so so that's the story on how we got our ghost and that's also the story on how we were able to get that radio flyer together so quick because i saw somebody commented can we do a build, build series on oh that yeah flyer? That, that thing's it's like we've built that so long ago that we'll do a teardown series on it <laughs> yeah we'll do a 2.0 build yeah but that's why that's why that one was retired anyways because it was dangerous enough with just the regular engine and then with that predator uh, that ghost, Dude, i just can't like, believe <laughs> the video like the acceleration of that thing yeah. is just bonkers yeah and like crazy. i didn't speed any of those videos up yeah don't always believe what you see on the internet but i i honestly did not speed those up well it's about party time here we got to cut a new chain Ooh. because that other it's one's gonna small. be too short so hopefully this leftover section's long enough hopefully hopefully that's yeah, that's be long not enough. long enough. Dang it. Don't, do you got two, uh, two crimp or... Uh... You know what? I do have two chain connectors that I could connect these. I'm not going to do that. We do stuff high quality around here. We do it the right way. So, bust down a new roll. Guy put, just has you another put, roll? You put two links in there, you got twice the chance of a failure. Yeah. So I thought you didn't have any more. Uh, we always have stuff here, man. Here at the garage vlog. <laughs> tell you, that's my thing. I stay prepared. Always got to have extra parts. Never know what you're gonna need to build. Where are you headed? <laughs> Heading up to the chain store. <laughs> Watch that radio. Yeah, I was, I was just, you. I was hoping that you were gonna say. <laughs> oh, just point out real quick. Give us like a, give us what's the da most dangerous thing. This is the top five most dangerous <laughs> things on the radio flyer. This is the most dangerous thing. Ah. Oh yeah. <laughs> that. This is also. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Another As we were danger. Riding, we, were, we were coming up with theories on how to like <laughs> <This> release. <the> <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> danger. <laughs> this crankshaft, <laughs> danger. The, the foot pegs, that's also <laughs> the, an the axle. The kill switch on the back, danger. <laughs> your, your backrest right here. Yeah, this uh, fuel line that's not even a fuel line with no vent, danger. After he right just goes, we do everything exhaust. the right way. <laughs> Going forward, we do. Yeah. <laughs> that was 2018, that was a different different guy back that then. was a different time that's not a brand new chain is it like you like what's the chances you just got one guy i plan everything out you uh if you don't plan you plan to fail if you fail to plan you plan to fail that's it that's what i just said no i don't know we're not uh we're not poets around here we're not egg you're out i'm poet <laughs> you're another, so freaked out now. another quick story no that'll be oh fine. what's here another quick People story love the stories on instagram and in the videos so this this was a this goes back to our first mini bike we ever built when like we were probably like 12. So I remember I was so excited like to get a piece of chain back then. Like it's not as easy as just walking over and to your getting jewelry the whole store thing. and getting it, you know. So <laughs> I remember You should put that around your neck like just got my new chain in. I remember I remember my dad was like, wait for me so I could help you cut that. And I was like, okay. And I didn't. <coughs> And uh, I jacked it all up and cut it too short. I cut it a link too short. <laughs> and uh, tell you what, I've never made that mistake again. <laughs> Fun fact is, uh, I know some guys that cut chains short one time and uh, actually got fired for it. Two of them. Hey man, you cut that much chain wrong. They cut like, I forget how many pieces. Oh really? Oh yeah, they like ruined a whole entire, like, 200 foot reel chain like making multiple pieces like parts. oh yeah they went in full production <laughs> and weren't bright enough to figure out I'm like how long have you guys been producing mini bikes for you been firing people <laughs> i'll tell you what we're uh we had a hundred thousand subscribers we might not we'll be, tell you the truth about yeah. our lives we're not uh that, that should be the next big secret we're like, not new to the game we're new to putting it online we've been in the game a while now how's the appropriate way, way to measure this just like I'm doing. How did you screw it up bad the last time? All those years ago. All those years ago. Well, if you look at this, there's an inner and an outer link. So the old, old 12 year old me cut this one off. The young 12 year old you. Yeah. Cut that off where it was the outside ones. So see how like this is where your master link would go. So you would have to cut it either here or here, but I cut it and I tried to use like this link and it ended uh, up cutting it one short. Oh, so rookie mistake. You just like fast forward to me cutting this one wrong. <laughs> Dang it. Yeah. Oh, you should take that old one and like, like we yeah. should like almost be like, I, no! ne I never make this mistake. And then no. like you're just holding up the other ones like, no, it's too short. You, you sure about that cut that link right there? So another thing here, when you put these links on, I always put them on like this. So whatever way the chain rotates, you have the open end in the back. So get just close like, up to that. just theoretically, if anything were to hit that or whatever, it's not gonna knock the clip off. Uh, so. I was gonna grab the front, you grab the back. Okay, ready? Yep. Oh yeah, she's nice. It definitely is a drifter. <laughs> like you can do it without even having your foot down. It just disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> then you just are... Man. You get freaking nuts with those tw throttle twists. Give me an outro. Change the gear on that, be like the red one. It's not as crazy because the longer wheelbase, 
It's definitely more torquey. Yeah. I think we need some gas engine. We do. Gas engines on these things. Yeah, some ghosts. All right, give us an out. Like an out. That's a wrap. That's it. <laughs> Cut the film. We're done. <laughs>